Construction projects are changing our city's skyline, neighborhoods, and streets. And these are bold undertakings that could truly transform entire communities and give everyone a chance to build a greater Cleveland. In this morning's Mission Possible, Matt Rescone has a look at what equity and inclusion within construction can bring beyond just new buildings. Cleveland is building. This construction demand worth between 20 and 30 billion dollars over the next decade is happening according to the Greater Cleveland Partnership. And the goal is to ensure women and minorities are included. That's why GCP is playing matchmaker, bringing project owners and construction managers in the same room to work together. And it was also the recent focus of Construction, Utilities, Buildings and Equity, or CUBE Symposium. Everyone has an opportunity to make a good living. That means it's going to be a stronger city for others to come and say, I want to move to Cleveland. I want to build in Cleveland. I want my headquarters in Cleveland. The GCP is in its second decade of equity and inclusion work within the space and with the impact new construction can have on a community. They want it to better reflect those who are in it. Those dollars will flow back into local communities to reinvest and grow local communities, and that's very much at the core of why we believe this work is so important. Projects also include building new bus shelters, train stations, and track replacement. The RTA has a list of improvements, locally, state, and federally funded. With that money comes equity goals the RTA must meet. We want to make sure that we also provide opportunities for the next generation. So our generation is full of promise, it's full of men and women, it's full of a lot of folks that come from different backgrounds, and we find that the more you have inclusivity in those areas, the more you have new ideas. Another step in equity's favor was the Community Benefits Ordinance. Cleveland City Council passed it last year. It requires projects using public dollars to hire more minority-owned firms. They now have to agree on how they're going to use the people, the residents who live in the city so it reflects upon them. That is a tool. It is only as successful as those of us around us make it. The symposium's key speaker, U.S. Department of Commerce Deputy Secretary Don Graves, a native Clevelander, he sees the impact of underrepresentation. We need to invest uh, in creating pathways and building a more diverse uh, and equitable economy so that we can take advantage of people who are uh, not participating the way that they should. Graves says including all voices and perspectives allows us to out-innovate the rest of the world. Diversity is our country's greatest strength. Ensuring Cleveland is building for everyone. Matt Rascone, 3 News. Ohio is getting another $270 million in federal funding to expand and modernize public transit. The GCP tells us partnerships are already in place to take advantage of significant investments just like this.